Hi, Miles and Martha Loss, your local real estate experts. This property is a for sale by owner. It's not selling. They call me up to see what's going on and possibly list the property. So I want to take a look at it and walk you through. Now keep in mind, I'm not a home inspector. I'm not a pest inspector. I'm not an engineer. However, I'm going to look for items that will affect the marketability and the value of the property. So let's take a look. So we're here at the exterior of the property. We're going to look at the roof. Now keep in mind with a four-point inspection, and this is required to get insurance, which is needed to get a loan, they're going to look at the roof. So we're going to look at any missing shingles, wear and tear, alligatoring of the shingles. That's where the edges of the shingles turn up. We're also going to look at the AC unit, get an idea of the age. It may be on the side of the unit. I also will check public records to see the age of the roof and the AC by the permits. I'm also going to take a look at the breaker box. There's one out here, there's one upstairs. What I'm looking for is to make sure it's up the code. I don't get into real specific things, but there's certain uh, things you want to look for. You'll see the green breakers, there's certain brands that are not up the code that will be an issue. I actually have that store on my phone. I'll take a look at that. And we're going to look for any obvious signs of rot or water damage. And the roof itself has a tilt on the side and it has what's called a fascia and a soffit not really much of that here, but there are areas that would rot as well. So I want to take a look. It's, this is kind of a difficult example to see because this is an elevated home, but on a home that's on the ground that's not on stilts, you actually be able to see it better. And what we're looking for is the roof itself hangs over, and then down from that's the fascia, and then next to that underneath is the soffit. And that's typically, if you have any sort of water damage or rot, that's where it will be. And also at the base of the siding. This looks like vinyl siding, so I don't think we're going to have any issues there. So let's take a look at the seawall. Okay, we're here at the seawall. We're going to take a look. We're going to look for any cracking, any crumbling, any bulging. You actually want to take a look. I don't see anything here. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. And you actually can check out the decking underneath here. And the dock, you want to look for any rot. This looks brand new. It looks like it's in good condition. Now, while I'm out here, just as a, one of the pro secrets, we're going to take a look at down the canal. What we're going to look for is any large boats that give, an, give us an idea of the depth of the canal because the homeowner doesn't know. And we could see, I don't see any large boats, so that's not going to help us here, but you would look for that to get an idea of what's going on with the canal depth. Let's go inside. Okay, so let's take a look at the interior of the property. Obviously, you can look at the ceiling, any signs of water intrusion, roof leaks, or any issues with clogged drainage lines with the AC, which would give you a water stain. I'm also going to look around the windows for any signs of water intrusion. This is also a good spot to see what's called termite pellets. They're little round pellets, basically, and they come from termites that, or you would see wings, and that would be around the window. Again, I'm not a pest inspector, but I know when I see it. You also want to look at the paint. It looks like it has new paint in here, new floors. Don't see any damage in the floors whatsoever. And let's take a look at the kitchen. Looks like we've got some missing appliances here. Depending upon the lender, some lenders, like I've run into issues with Wells Fargo where they actually require a range in the property. The issue is when it's something like this, that's considered part of the property and if it's not there, that can be an issue with some lenders. That's where the dishwasher would go. Otherwise, the kitchen looks good. I want to check for any leaks down here. Again, this would be a four-point inspection because we're going to check the plumbing, so if you've got a leak, that's going to be an issue. Looks like it's new down there. Countertops, they look nice. Backsplash. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the bathroom. So I'm going to check both bathrooms. It looks like it's got a new shower, no issues here. I would look at the toilet, any signs of leaks. Look underneath the sink. Don't see any water damage or leaks there. Looks good to go. Actually, looks new. Floor in here looks good. Don't see any mold or mildew. No water stains on the ceiling. 
Looks like we're good to go in here. Let's take a look at the master. So this actually looks new. There's no stains, no water intrusion. Looks nice around the windows. The bathroom looks like it's brand new. And again, I'm looking at the toilet, any signs of leaks underneath the sink. And this looks brand new as well. So I see no issues here. Also, we look for any water stains, mildew in the showers, any signs of leaks. I don't see that. It looks like a brand new shower. So there you go, that's the walkthrough of the home.